Hey guys! Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and I make content about dogs and how you can live holistically with your pets. If this is something that interests you, please press the like button and subscribe down below, especially for this video because I am terrified to vlog in public and that is what I'm about to do. This is another episode in my pet nutrition series and I'm actually going to take you guys into Walmart, walk down the pet food aisles and see what we can find. So I'm going to go in there and try to be incognito with my phone and not get kicked out and uh, also face my social anxiety. So uh, stay tuned guys. Pure balance has to be a good food, right? It does start with chicken and then chicken meal, but they have brown rice and then brewer's rice, which means when you put these together, it's going to come before the chicken on the ingredient list here. Neutral, wholesome essentials. Anything that comes after salt has less than 1% in the bag. So there's only less than 1% dried apples, dried blueberries, dried carrots, etc. Let's take a look at this holistic puppy food. Must be good, right? at Old Roy, 100% complete and balanced nutrition, high quality protein. There is zero protein in here, zero real meat. This meat and bone meal does not mean that's actual meat. None of this is just plain meat. Disgusting. First ingredient is ground yellow corn. These are on sale. Oh, Lord. I'm beautiful. Oh, imagine that. I'm honestly pissed at this selection here. Nothing's even close to appropriate of what you should be feeding your dog. I have read three labels on cat food bags, very popular cat foods that have literally zero meat in them. It's all just byproduct or meal, and when I break down what that means, you will realize that there is no real meat in these foods. It's ridiculous. I would not recommend any Walmart or grocery brand food. Honestly, disappointing. 
been in this aisle for maybe 15 minutes and watched 7 to 10 people pick out dog or cat food and I just want to scream. Right now I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I read pretty much every ingredient list of dog foods there and I read probably four or five bags of cat food and I would highly, highly recommend not buying your dog or cat food from Walmart or from any grocery store really because they have the same selection. In another video you will also see a breakdown of ingredients and what they mean, what you should look for, what you shouldn't look for. Honestly, I was getting angry because, I don't know if you can hear in the one clip, but I said that probably seven to 10 people came in and got their dog or cat food while I was in the aisle, and I was probably only in the aisle for about 15 minutes. And I just wanted to scream at them that you're poisoning your pets, and this is not nutritious. Um, there actually was an older lady in the dog treat aisle with I think probably her husband and I could hear them from an aisle over trying to decide which treat to buy and then when I walked into the same aisle and I was trying to get some shots of just the treats she was looking at a box of soft chewy milk bones saying oh wow it says wholesome and I've seen good commercials about this and they picked it up and they walked away so um yeah, lots of the things that you'll see in the clips that I did get was packaging that says chicken's the first ingredient, but really there's two spliced corns in there, which means that chicken is not the first ingredient. Um, lots of claims of the ingredients being natural and wholesome and nutrients, great for your pet, the packaging looks great. Uh, but it all turned out to be false. I wish I could have got some better clips. Maybe in the future I will grow some balls and do some better vlogging. But I know that Walmart does kick people out for filming and I just didn't want to deal with that, will, with that today. Honestly frustrated. How are people that don't stumble across this series or other people that speak out about the pet food industry know what to feed their pets. How are they supposed to know? They're reading the labels, what it says on the front looks great, and also all the ingredients I feel like are purposefully put in the worst possible spot that you can't like fold open the bag and read the ingredients properly. So frustrating when I was trying to get pictures. Um, honestly, a fail in the sense that I didn't vlog very good, but also a fail that you can't trust any of these foods at Walmart or grocery stores. Um, thanks so much for watching to the end of this video. I hope it wasn't pointless. If you are interested in hearing more about how you and your pet can live a holistic life, life, please press subscribe down below. I upload every Tuesday and there will be another pet nutrition video going up next week. Thanks guys. Have a great day.